Hello and I'm just back from uh, the summer recess and so I'm starting my weekly updates again uh, about what's happening here in Westminster but also what's happening in the constituency as well and while we've got a busy few weeks ahead of us with uh, some of the Brexit bills that are going through Parliament uh, my weekly update that I wanted to start the term on is really focusing on a local constituency issue uh, particularly uh, one that's affecting the town of New Haven. Uh, and my office, as you know, is based in New Haven and we are doing huge amounts of work to try and regenerate the town there. Uh, the flood defences, which uh, will protect the town and will protect neighbouring towns such as Seaford, uh, will be uh, almost uh, complete soon and that will make a big difference to the town. The UTC is uh, now going through uh, its next uh, intake of students and it's doing fantastically well. We've got some national uh, chains who are looking at uh, coming to the town centre and the, the local district council are meeting with those uh, national retailers to encourage them to come to the town and we should have some news on that soon. So there is a lot of good work happening in, in the area. Uh, there are plans to uh, reopen some of the track side there uh, for freight uh, movements, which will be a big boost to the town because we want to uh, get some of those heavy goods vehicles off our roads. And it's on that subject really that leads me uh, to the latest issue uh, that I'm campaigning on. Now, while I'm welcoming new businesses to the area and we've got a significant number of businesses, clean energy businesses, uh, new technology businesses, coming to the town and employing local people. We do also have uh, a creeping effect of some uh, businesses coming into the area which we don't have the infrastructure to support what they want to do. And one of those is the new tarmac plant, uh, which is uh, asking for planning permission on the North Quay, and which I'm actually opposing and supporting residents in that. And it's not because I don't welcome business to the area, and it's not because I don't welcome the opportunity to create new jobs for local people. But this new tarmac plant uh, is literally going to increase significantly the traffic flow through the town, which is already busy and congested. And those of you who travel around that ring road every day uh, will know that in both directions, whether you're coming from Peacehaven or you're coming from Seaford, uh, there's traffic build up relatively frequently. And that's without the swing bridge opening and that's without uh, some of the peak traffic uh, conditions as well. And New Haven is actually the most polluted town in my constituency. So the air pollution levels are significantly higher in New Haven than in many parts of uh, Lewis District. And that's simply because of the ring road and simply because traffic gets caught up there, uh, is at a standstill and engines are blowing out uh, pollution when they're not moving. So it's crucial that we don't add to that. And while I obviously welcome a new uh, business or a business that's expanding in the area, the tarmac plant, uh, if it gets the go ahead, will actually increase um, the number of HGVs going around that ring road, going around that busy town by almost 900 traffic movements a week. And we just can't cope with that. Uh, we're already queuing up um, to Bishopstone uh, when we want to get back uh, come four o'clock of an evening. And in the morning, we're queuing back as far as Peacehaven in the morning to, to come the other way. And so we cannot, that ring road cannot take another 900 traffic movements, particularly of HGV uh, vehicles. It would also uh, amount to another 80 openings of the swing bridge a year, which doesn't sound a lot, but when you think that once the swing bridge is open, that can add 40 minutes on to, to someone's journey. That increases the number of vehicles that will be standing uh, with their engines running and increasing the air pollution for the town. So for me, I'm supporting residents in that. Um, you know, If this was a, a proposal that was the other side of uh, the swing bridge and didn't include uh, swing bridge openings, then maybe I could be convinced. If this was a proposal for a more clean, green energy uh, facility, then again, I could be convinced. But actually, the damage this will do to the town in terms of stopping uh, the traffic flow that we do have um, even further is unacceptable. I'm working really hard with the County Council to sort out that ring road. Uh, we don't have a long-term plan at the moment, but what we are trying to do is take out some of those traffic lights. There's about six or seven sets of traffic lights there at the moment. We only need two or three of those. So if some of those could be taken out, it would ease the flow of traffic and reduce the level of pollution in the town. This tarmac plant will only add to that. And so for that reason, I've written in to object to the planning application 
and hope that East Sussex County Council will take heed of residents' concerns. Uh, we want to regenerate New Haven, but that doesn't mean that every uh, application uh, for a uh, new building has to be given permission. So I hope residents feel reassured that I will support them in this um, and it's important we regenerate New Haven, but it's important we get the right uh, people into the town, creating new jobs, but we also need that infrastructure, the, the, the road infrastructure and the rail infrastructure to support New Haven and the new businesses and homes that are coming to the town.